Hi, I'm Dr. Rashid, and I'm a trauma and orthopedic surgeon working out the south east of London. Welcome to the House of Medics Learn How to Suture series. Today, I will be demonstrating how I perform a running vertical mattress suture. So, as usual, make sure that your needle is mounted onto your needle holder two thirds of the way across its length and at 90 degrees to your needle holder. Then, using your forceps in your non-dominant hand, the first part of most running sutures is some sort of anchor suture. In this case, we simply throw a vertical mattress suture. So, you start on one end of the wound, pass your needle at 90 degrees to the skin, rotating your wrist all the way across to the other side. Now, this is, in your vertical mattress, your far to far throw. Then, you remount your needle in a backhand fashion to throw a near and a near throw. You then tie these off in the usual fashion. and you can trim your excess end. After remounting, remounting your needle for the vertical mattress, you throw another far throw, and if you're more comfortable, you can come out inside the wound, following the rotation of your wrist, and then continue your throw on the other side. Again, pick up the skin, get into your wound, and come out far from the wound edge. As you can see, rather than to simply cut both sutures, we have continued suturing to make sure that this is a running suture, unlike a simple interrupted vertical mattress suture. You mount your needle in the backhand fashion and then pass a near, near throw. You continue you're running vertical mattress suture by passing another far, far throw along the wound. In this case, more, prox more um, proximal towards this end of the wound. Once you get more comfortable, you can feel free to pass your far throws in one movement. And again, mount your needle to allow you to perform a backhand throw. Near, near. As you can see, the net effect of these sutures is a suture where we have a running vertical mattress that everts and opposes the wound edges. You can finish off suturing 
by tying a knot. I do that by simply throwing my final vertical mattress and tying a knot with the loop that is formed. And there you have it a running vertical mattress suture. To practice, remember, remember to click in the link in the description below to purchase a House of Medics suturing kit. Also, remember to like, share, and subscribe to the House of Medics channel for more contents like this. Take care.